welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to pick up stitches from the edge of a garter stitch fabric. I'm going to show three different methods. The first method will be picking up from the garter bump, the out, outer edge of the garter bump. The second method will be coming in one full stitch. And the third method will be picking up through the slipped edge stitches. In garter stitch, there's a wonderful relationship between the garter ridges and the stitches per inch. Usually you have the same number of garter ridges as you do stitches per inch. Let's, let's look at this. I've got a little ruler here. Let's see how many stitches we're getting to the inch. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five stitches to the inch. And let's see how many garter ridges we're getting to the inch. We're getting one, two, three, four, five garter ridges. So it's a wonderful ratio. So when you're picking up stitches along the edge of garter stitch fabric, you can pick up one stitch for each garter ridge. Now how you pick up those stitches is a different story and that's what this video is about. I worked the first half of this garter swatch just working plain garter on the edges not slipping any stitches. The second half I worked with slipping up slipping the first stitch. So I'm going to show you how to pick up in uh, both those sections. Plus in this section people always wonder what part of the garter bump the pearl bump do you pick up in? So I'm going to show that also. I'm going to show picking up from the edge and also picking up one stitch in. So hopefully this will answer your questions about picking up from garter edges. Let's look at the fabric. This first one that I picked up from the very edge of the garter bump, you can see it looks pretty nice. You can see right here where I picked up from that garter bump. Then the next little section I actually came in one stitch from the edge and picked up in this place. Then the next section is where I had the slipped garter stitches and I picked up one stitch in each slipped garter edge stitch. Let's look at the other side. These are the slipped stitches here. So you can see those, they make a nice tidy turned edge on the other side and actually once you block it and everything it almost looks like a garter ridge. So this could be almost a reversible fabric. The first part where I picked up in the very garter edge right here, these bumps is where I picked up in, it also looks very nice and tidy. It continues that garter stitch pattern and that is also very much reversible. The middle section where I came in one stitch and picked up a whole stitch in so you get the garter bumps that bumpy garter edge is right here that's not very pretty. So I really think that your choice might be this method or this method. This is going to be the first method I'm going to show the second method, the third method. So let's do that. Okay? I'm going to get my knitting needle my working yarn. And we're going to turn our swatch this way and I'll show throwing and um, continental. So when you look at the edge, let's look at this real close to see what actually actually is the edge. If you see these top parts of the garter ridge, what look like frowns, those are the actual stitches. So this is the stitch on the edge. The smiles in between are just the strands between the stitches. If you take your needle and just run it up the edge, you're going to pick up that frown. And that's what I'm going to pick up to start with. So we'll pick up. So I'm going to just go under, I'm just going to start right here. I'm going under that pearl bump and I'm going to pull a stitch through. And then I'm going to go under the next pearl bump and pull a stitch through. Now let me show you throwing. Let's switch the yarn to my other hand. 
You just run your needle up the side and it'll go right through that first pearl bump. Just like that. Now, so if you're going to bring your needle in one full stitch, you would go under to where you have two strands of yarn over your needle and pull a new stitch through. This is the one that looks messy because it pushes all those pearl bumps to the back rather than working through them. One more. Now we've worked our way, and I'll go back to throwing again, Well, we've worked our way back up to the slipped edge stitches, and those are really easy. You just go into each slipped edge stitch. Then we'll turn our work and see what the other side looks like before we've even worked the first row. So we can see those slipped edge stitches get pushed back to the back and it looks pretty tidy. Then here's where we came in one full stitch and it pushes that pearl, that ugly bumps to the back of the work and it does not look very good. And here's where we picked up in the actual first stitch itself and that looks really nice. So let's review again. This is the other side that I completed. In fact, I'm just going to pull my needle out there. So this was the first section where I picked up in the pearl bump, the actual first stitch. Here I came in one full stitch and it looks nice on the front of the work. It really does look nice. And this is where I picked up the slipped edge stitches. Let's look at the back again. We have that nice column of those slipped stitches. It almost looks like a pearl, a garter ridge. This is the part we don't like. And then down here, where we've picked up, it really looks, it, and it lays flat. This lays perfectly flat, does not stand up, whereas this one stands up from the fabric. You actually have this ridge. This might even be my favorite method, but either one of these would be good. I think this one's the most reversible, right here. The right side and the wrong side look good. So if you enjoy my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below. Share them with your friends. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a Ko-Fi account, and you'll find a link to that under the description of the video. I hope you come back and watch some more, and happy knitting.